everything is data in that, you know, we would, so, so in this didactic approach that I mentioned, how to design program, the design recipes are fundamentally data centered, right? The data, you design the data and from the design of the data, you structure the program around it, right? This is classic. I mean, this is the way that I grew up, right? Is you design the data types and then you design everything from there. This is no longer the case in domain driven design. Now in. Uh, in in the systematic approach of how to design, I'm sorry, in this in the systematic approach of how to design programs, you distinguish between two things: between uh, what that calls mixed data and compound data, or you might say more formally sums of products. If we're leaning into the mathematical side of programming now, uh, and of course, then you would say, well, then you get to the concept of maybe algebraic data types in strongly typed uh, functional languages that combine those two things, where you would always have a sum of products. Again, why, why is that effective, right? You would think that's extremely effective structuring domains, right? Things in your domain can very often effectively structure e through algebraic data types, even though algebraic data, the concept of algebraic data types was not designed with concrete domain modeling in mind, right? Because of those brain, because we're not modeling the domain, we're modeling the way that we think about our domain. Now, programming, so I mentioned products and sums, right? Products are, you know, your thing has this attribute and this attribute and this attribute and this attribute and sums are, it could be this or that, or that, or that could have different structure. 